You're starting a blog or a website for your business, and that means before you really get going, you need to register a domain name. And I'm here today to show you how, walk you through it step by step. And we're also going to give you a few little tips on how to pick the very best domain name. What is a domain name? Well, it's your .com, .org, .net, .whatever. It's the way people are going to find you on the internet. Now, the best example I can give is us. We are WPBeginner.com. That's what you're going to type in. That's how you're going to find us. That is our domain name. Domain names usually cost between about $10 and $15 for the year, so not overly expensive. However, I am going to show you now how you can get one for free. If you're looking to register a domain in order to start your blog or website on WordPress, you're also going to need hosting. To do this as cheaply as possible and with a big reliable company, we recommend Bluehost. Bluehost are going to give you your SSL certificate for free in order to keep your website secure. They're also going to give you your domain name completely for free. And the hosting, which you're going to need anyway, starts at $275 a month. If you go down in the description, click the link to get our WP Beginner coupon code, and that will keep the prices as low as humanly possible to get you going. Once you've done that, registering your domain name is actually really easy. We're going to start by following the link that's down in the description. It's going to take you through to this page here, which has already got the WP Beginner offer attached to it. So we're going to get started. And we're just going to start with the basic option for one blog or sites. We're still going to get our free domain name here. And then we're also going to get that hosting. So we're going to type in the name of our business here or whatever you want it to be and select next. So you can see here, you're then going to fill in your account information. And this is the important bit, your package information. What are you going to get? So you've got a free first year of your primary domain reg registration. You've got your SSL and then your service turn. There's a lot of package extras that are in here. Now you don't actually need to take any of these. We can just turn them all off. There we go. And that is going to bring your total down to $33. That's your domain and your hosting for the entire year for $33. Information's there and you're good to go. It's really, really simple. If you don't need hosting and you just want to register a domain name, then we recommend domain.com. The clue is quite literally in their name. All you have to do is search for your desired domain name and then select the registration period that you want. It's really simple. Now, what you do need to consider, like I say, is that there's no hosting here. It is just the domain name that you are purchasing. But if you're looking to save yourself a little bit of money, on purchasing a domain name, then again, we've got a WP Beginner coupon code for you down in the description. If you do want to bundle your hosting and your domain name together, like we did with Bluehost, but you don't fancy using Bluehost, then surprise, surprise, I've got another WP Beginner coupon code for you down in the description where you are gonna be able to get discount off using Hostinger. Hosting are going to do exactly what Bluehost do. They're going to be able to offer you hosting and a domain name all bundled as one. It wouldn't be a domain registrations list without network solutions. These guys have been registering domain names since 1992 and they've got over 7 million registered domain names with them. They've got a really easy to use control panel and overall it's a nice and straightforward process to get registered. Of course, we've got a WP Beginner coupon code for you down in the description. Now you know how to register a domain name, but what domain name should you register? Here are just a couple of little tricks and tips from us to try and point you in the right direction. The first one, quite simply, avoid using hyphens and numbers in your domain name. Numbers get confusing. Do you write the number? Do you write the number out and spell it? going to confuse people and hyphens and other things like that again it just confuses the way that you're going to be able to promote it to people and people might not be able to find you by entering the incorrect address so steer clear of both of those now there are millions of domain names registered every single day so don't be slow as soon as you have the idea as soon as you have the concept the name for what your business your blog is going to be get out there and buy the domain name for it. Even if you don't have the website, 
go and buy the domain name because then you've got it, you own it, it's yours, and nobody can take it away from you, which considering how many domains are registered every day, it is very much a possibility. So be quick. And finally, we also recommend using a .com extension. There's so many extensions available these days. You can have .net, .org, .online, .me, .shop. There's just endless, endless options. However, .com is going to lend you the most credibility. So unless it is really imperative that you have one of these other extensions, definitely go for the .com. You should now know how to register your dream domain name and have a couple of tips in your back pocket about what domain name to register. If you wanna pair that up with some information on what hosting provider to use, then make sure you click our video right here. And for more tips and tricks for WordPress, then do make sure you hit the subscribe button and shuffle along and hit like while you're at it. But that's all from me here today. I've been James, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon.